Hi guys, I'm rg 123 you are my humble viewers, it feels really good to be back on camera again and this is another episode of Shitty Movies. Uh, this particular shitty movie uh, is called The Mystical Adventures of Billy Owens. Uh, now, it may not seem so uh, crappy at first, I mean, the, the, type, the uh, front picture, the front picture looks well enough. Uh, the slogan of Magical Adventure for All the Family looks good. The back doesn't look brilliant, but it looks okay. Um, there's The graphics on it are fine, the artwork is fine, and there is definitely something that you notice about the lettering. Uh, just have a look at that. I'll leave you with that just for a second, and um, you'll find out why this particular DVD is obscuringly familiar when I read the blurb. This tightly crafted fantasy adventure takes Billy Owens and his two closest friends Devon and Mandy, boy and girl, on a magical adventure that will mystify and entertain children of all ages. <clears throat> on Billy's 11th birthday, he stumbles upon William Fergus' treasure trove and pawn shop and finds his treasure in the form of a magical wand. With an array of power suddenly at his fingertips, Billy finds his simple life changed to one that is consumed by mythical creatures, haunted caves, and a school that possesses certain unsuspecting character. As his adventure unravels, Billy and his friends must find the inner strength to overcome evil, or their hometown spirit river will be lost forever. I don't know about you, but that sounds like a certain series of books that Miss J.K. Rowling wrote called Harry Potter. Um, which is why I kind of picked it up in the first place. My friend actually pointed this out to me. I, did, I didn't see it at first. Uh, now, in the movie, there are a lot of similarities, like, um, uh, what's her name? Mandy. Mandy's a book smart person. She's very, very clever. Uh, she's constantly coming out with facts. I got a bit of hair in my there. There, got a bit of hair in my mouth. Um, and Devon is an idiot and a bit of a coward but he still finds the strength to follow Billy and Mandy into oblivion, which is kind of like Hermione and Ron, if you get what I mean. Um, back to the actual movie, ab apart from that, which is appalling. And this came out in 2008, so this came out around about the time of All of the Phoenix, that sort of thing. Um, so they knew exactly what they were making. Uh, the disc, the artwork on here is not bad. Um, it could do with some touching up, it looks a bit grainy. Um, yeah, but it's not awful. Uh, then we go on to the actual DVD itself, and oh god, I have to say, it is absolutely. It, it, oh, if you love to watch terrible movies like me, um, then it is a good one to watch because honestly, it's horrible acting, poor sound quality, terrible sparkle effects with the wand. Um, the big evil person, spoiler alert, is a dragon, um, and it's just awful 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 and in 2008 we have the technology to make cgi dragons that were really good and it just looks like it's been made an iMovie on the apple or something like that it is absolutely terrible half the time it's a two minute camera view with no transitions um i mean the camera angles themselves are rubbish it's got an incoherent plot stupid characters um and like i said earlier there's poor sound quality because the audio keeps popping in and out so you can definitely tell when they've recorded the sound and not recorded it um, so that's pretty bad it's just there is no effort put into it because some of the dialogue the script sounds improvised so there'll be certain sections where obviously they just said oh crap we haven't written for this bit just do whatever here's a general gist of what you're saying um, it is pretty terrible pretty terrible um, I guess the one good thing about it is that it, the wand looks good, it's got a dragon's head in the end, it looks fine. The, the story itself isn't bad. I mean, it's a classic sort of Disney film, if you find that on the Disney Channel on the actual TV. I mean, it would be fantastic for a straight-to-TV movie. Um, but as an actual DVD, bit crap. Um, so, IMDB give it 2.8. I'm going to give it... Oh, it's out of 5, I think. No, it's out of 10, isn't it? Yeah. So, I'm going to give it... I'd give it 2. I'm not going to be that nice. It really was terrible. Yeah, so Mystical Adventures of Billy Owens gets a 2. And that's another one added to the ship pipe. 
Um, next time I'll be reviewing a new DVD. I've got one just set up there. I've just got to watch it. Uh, and there will be some Team Fortress 2 playthroughs coming up. I know that you've, you know, some people have been getting in the world without them. But yeah, they will be coming up. I've just got to get my mic set up. Um, and I will see you guys later. Bye. Wow.